Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today's pick a card reading is all about what you need to know about a certain situation in your life. The idea of doing this pick a card is to help you understand the deeper lesson. This way you can unlock what is holding you back, all right? So pick a pile here. You're not gonna see too many cards because I am going to be pulling out some cabochons and we're gonna be using that as part of the reading as well. But we have the ivory heart on a black background, that's group one. We have the cameo, that's group two, and the B is group three. So just tune in, pick a pile, or you can pick a couple of piles, and we will also, like I said, be choosing the cabochons. Okay, group one, so if you chose the white heart, we're gonna be looking at your cards first, and then we will be pulling some other divination tools to get more of a message for you. But first, let's look at what we have for your cards. Look at that. I love that. Brilliance. Discover your sparkle. The number is 26. Angel aura quartz. Lighten up. Yeah, take it easy on yourselves. So this is getting too caught up in your head a bit here. And then pink opal. Be kind to yourself. So you're coming out of some sort of big situation that probably took a major toll on your self-esteem because we're taking something that someone said to us way too seriously. Okay. Just because it's someone's opinion doesn't make it true. All right. So if you've just gotten out of a bad situation, like a breakup, or maybe you did leave a job, you know, the deeper lesson there is to not allow people's perceptions of you to mold and shape who you are. Again, the pink opal indicates that you're healing from something. So something, something hurt. But if we get caught up in what the ins and outs of that exact situation are on the surface, we're missing, we're missing our sparkle. We're missing our brilliance. Okay. And we're allowing that to lower us. Now, this isn't encouraging playing the victim or blaming people for, you know, how we feel about things or how we take things. That's not what this is. This is actually, this is a deep hurt. This could have been a very difficult conversation that you just had with somebody. Maybe you were trying to set a boundary because this talks about, this angel or courts talks about coming to a place of discovery and wanting to have that heart to heart conversation with someone. And maybe it just didn't go well. But here's the thing. You can't control what other people are going to do. But you know what? You don't have to play into it. It is not your job to put up with people. <laughs> okay? Well, you might joke and say, well, yeah, my job is actually to put up with people or something like that. But what I'm getting at here is that, you know, again, what, however people want to see you, uh, what, wherever they're trying to drag you from, your truth. So this lighten up card does encourage you to go into your heart, to find your peace, to find your inner light, to find the soul truth and disconnect a little bit from whatever this event was, whatever these circumstances are. It does feel like mm, surface level turmoil with people, being at odds. But ultimately at the end of the day, in order for you to heal, you need to be good to yourself. You need to take accountability for how you feel. Give yourself a chance every single day. And when you get into the light space, look at what happens. Look at this. You discover your sparkle. You remember what they say doesn't have to <laughs> run me. It doesn't have to define me. So we're going to get more of a message here. Let me just clear these off to the side. And let's here, let me put those over there. Actually gives me more room. Do this. All right. So what I have done here, I have created some glass cabochons. I'm just gonna show you one as an example. Uh, I've taken some Lacta paper and put it on the back of a glass cabochon. And then I hand wrote some, it just felt very important to have handwriting on these. So I'm going to be doing these. I also have some other cabochons. You hear them. There's many more of these and they're heavy. <laughs> they are so heavy, but we're going to be pulling some of those as 
well. So let me first put them on the board and then as I'm reading them, I can put them on the plate. So let's, let's get these going here. Okay. All right. So, hmm. you know, what's interesting because sometimes I just want to start with like reading the design. So that's not really a part of it, but sometimes there's a message weirdly that comes along with it. So this feels like being very structured and following a path and following expectations. Okay. And tradition blending with the crowd. Okay, but let's look at these first because these bigger ones are Archangels. So we have Archangel Raphael, which does talk about healing and he's there to help you with the healing. There's the back of it. If you want to kind of see the design on it. Oh, <laughs> I got this. I got, <laughs> we'll work this out. I swear. And then this one, oh, Archangel Zadkiel. So this is all about transmutation, burning up what no longer serves you. So this is very helpful. Think of like violet flame, okay? Burning off what no longer serves you and remembering that you are a perfect creature of God and you do not need to give in to low frequency. Now these will create a story. So we have time. openness I'm trying to look at this through my viewfinder <laughs> not so much okay oh I will be repainting these and doing this over I did just want to use them today so that says beauty I use kind of I was trying to use a cute pink marker that was a little too too much all right We've got beauty openness look at that and release so here's the story you ready so here here are the archangels we've got Raphael and Zadkiel healing and transmuting and releasing and it is time to release and have more openness to your own beauty. Mm -hmm. I want to I really feel like some of you out there by the way can I just show you like how fun this is? <laughs> Like, I, I'm such a kid. Like, it takes so little to entertain me. But anyway, <laughs> there's your message here. Let's straighten these guys out here. Like that. Now I need you to hold still. Hold still. All right, so it's time to release. There's a lot of you out there who are watching this. You don't have a sense of self. I wonder if you even have, like, a sense of identity. Because it does feel like part of what needs to heal again I keep saying this but letting everybody else define you letting everybody else tell you how you should live now I know some of you are going to rebel and then you're going to go over correcting and go completely the opposite way and that's not really what we're looking at either we're looking at balance and harmony here but I also want to interpret this as like this is your time this is your time of rediscovery Time for openness. Time for openness. So part of that openness is being truthful with yourself. What am I hanging on to? What does not serve me? If you tune in and if you set that intention, especially if you're meditating with one of these archangels, that will come up. And it might start with a surface level story. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> so it'll start with a surface level story but then you'll get a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. So it's not enough to just go, okay, I had that breakup or I just lost that job or my boss is driving me crazy or my friends are not good to me. It's not enough to just, you know, stop there. That, that's your beginning. From there, you want to go a little bit deeper and ask yourself, how did I get into this dynamic? Why did I think that this would be good? Now, this isn't encouraging you to overanalyze. Okay, but just to be aware and to give yourself this chance. If you're going to heal, if you, because we have that pink opal card, okay, if you're going to heal, if you're going to give yourself this chance, it does say be kind to yourself, be willing to do the transmutation, but you can't just go through the motions. 
All right, we can't just say, okay, I meditated for the day, check that off the list. We have to be willing to face the truth, to process that truth, and be willing to have another start. Because again, I just said this to somebody in a personal reading, sometimes we are so wanting to not abandon an aspect of ourselves that we hang on to pain. And this is saying you don't have to do that anymore. Okay? Don't go anywhere, group one. Remember this big, <laughs> this big old bag we have here. Oh, my. Now this, I'm going to have to kind of put it here. <laughs> Ugh. Because <laughs> she hefty. Okay? <laughs> so I also made, now these are just, these are made for jewelry and the locked cup paper, um, is, is prayer paper, essentially. That's what those are. These are just regular from the mosaic section of the hobby store. But I've infused them with messages, so let's get some more messages for you about this. Ugh. All right, my loves. Which one do we want to read first? I want to come for this one. Routine. It has be become routine. Wow. I, we need more of the story. Wow. And to heal. That goes with that. Archangel Raphael. I'll keep you there for a second. <laughs> Here's your big lesson. You need to say no. No. Set those boundaries. You're just in this routine and you're just so used to saying yes to everybody or you know you might even sit there and say no I don't I'm super tough and nothing gets to me you would not be watching this if that were the case <laughs> number one but you're just so used to going with what's expected of you no okay <laughs> no <laughs> let's get this other one here manifest it's time for a new story guys it's time to give yourselves this chance. It's time to walk away from something and focus on self. Now, this isn't to be narcissistic or anything like that, but self means you need to watch out for you. And that might mean breaking from what somebody else wants of you. And remember, too, for some of you, there's a huge message. Oops, as I move everything around. There's a huge message out there or for you guys out there, that sometimes somebody has to heal themselves. Do you have people in your life who are constantly pulling on you to help you heal them? Some of you might be life coaches or readers yourselves or, you know, where everybody expects you to have all the answers. It's always up to you, right? Well, now you need to give yourself that kind of consideration. You know what's interesting? Look, your little thing was this heart. But it's like an ivory heart on a black background. It's literally in the heart. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera there. But it's a little cracked. Like it has this marbly cracked texture. So this is a heart recovery. This is you. We're just going to add that to the reading. Why the heck not? <laughs> she lives there now. Uh, so this is what you're healing. You're healing your heart. You're trying to bring the light out of the dark. All right. And... I want to tune into this a little bit more because for everybody, obviously it's going to be different, but you do have some support here. You have two archangels that popped up for you here. Enjoy your own company. This feels very important for some of you where you're having to, in order to break this routine, this habit you have of always saying yes to everything or not really taking accountability either. You're not manifesting what you truly want. You're listening to what everybody else says that you should be doing or should want and, and so on and so forth. Um, this might be in social situations where there's expectations that you'll take on all the projects. Someone's taking advantage of your energy. Okay. That is, that's the biggest message here. So the deeper lesson beyond the surface level situation is you're learning how to honor yourself, how to set those boundaries, how to lovingly say no, we can do so lovingly, okay, to break out of your routine, break out of this old way of seeing yourself and start transmuting 
This will lead to healing. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you heal. Archangel Zadkiel can guide you with the Violet Flame Meditation and help you put things away that are no longer serving you. Okay? And you're going to start healing that heart space. That heart space is going to start bringing you some more inspiration. You're going to start making different choices because now you have freedom. Now you have freedom to choose outside of someone else's parameters or even the parameters that you've imposed upon yourself. For some of you that are super ambitious, do you get up every day and you have this you know, huge list of to-dos that no human being could ever get to, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like no human being could ever get to. And then you kind of set yourself up for failure. And at the end of the day, you're like, oh, I, I'm no good. I didn't do that well enough or whatever. You start beating yourself up. It's time to let all of that go. That is the pattern, okay? So we're not trying to save people. We're not just saying yes to everything. We're giving ourselves some consideration, right? Because discover your sparkle, lighten up and be kind to yourself. That's what that opal card over there is talking about, okay? So I hope this made sense for you guys. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Okay, group two. So let's see what you have if you chose the little cameo. Let's see what your cards are here. So this one, yeah, red, free yourself from pain. The number is two. So that's calling for balance. Something that you're thinking about has really taken a toll on you. To the point, for some of you, this could be pretty extreme. So this could be, you know, I'm sorry guys, but this could be something that's like really heavy, okay? And it could even be something, again, for some of you out there, not everybody, but it could be something that makes you feel unsafe. If that is the case, please reach out to help around you, okay? Make sure you get yourself out of that bad situation. But this is root chakra. And the pain that's coming around that and being out of balance with that has to do with not feeling safe within your own skin. So not only is there a situation that's now triggering some deeper understanding of who you are, but... You're now having to face like what is the deeper pain that led me to this situation. Now, this isn't so that you blame yourself or that you blame others. This is about fostering an understanding and giving yourself that chance. And then we have this carnelian card here. It says feed your creativity. This is the sacral chakra. This is the emotional body. All right. And this can, for some of you, this could be a relationship where you're being put down, you're being dragged down, and you're learning to stand up and say, no, I know who I am. I am going to define who I am. But there, there's going to need to be a lot of healing around the emotions in order to get there. The other portion of you out there, okay, this is going to mean something different to everybody, but there's a portion of, it, of you out there who you're trying to create something and you're getting a lot of criticism, okay, or you're getting rejected. And you're being told that what you have inside of you that you have manifested into this world is not good enough, okay? It's not what we're looking for. It's not the market for that, you know, all these kinds of things. Well, just because someone else doesn't approve of you, whether it's in love or in career or in a creative project, does not mean that you need to give up or be silenced or say, okay, well, I have to change my book entirely because a publisher said dot, dot, dot. You can tell the story that you want to tell. You can create the thing that you want to create. We're really coming out of that era of needing approval from everybody, which really is just a way of silencing those that we don't want to have, have them have a voice, right? By putting them down and saying, you're not good enough to be here. So whatever this is, there's something that's made you feel not good enough and maybe even started working towards silencing you or making you give up. Now, there's a portion of you out there too who, who chose this group uh, who might be saying, hey, it's not that serious, okay? <laughs> no, I get that, but you're still getting something out of this. Remember, these are general readings and you know everybody's gonna have to take whatever resonates with them. But this whole, it starts off with pain. Free yourself from pain. Free yourself from the negative self-talk, okay? Beating yourself up and feed your creativity. You can do a lot of healing by engaging in creative projects, all right? People don't tend to give that a whole lot of worth, but it's very true. 
Then we have pyrite, let the money flow in. So this is talking about blocks around prosperity. So for some of you, you may have actually lost a job recently, or yeah, there's, some, there's rejection here. There's hurt and rejection. So there's something about someone coming forward and saying, hey, we had to cut a bunch of people and we just thought that you weren't <laughs> one of the people that we could keep around. So here you go, you know, you gotta go. Uh, and this, what it is, is there's these outward circumstances that are coming up and sort of punching you. And you're taking it as if I'm not good enough. When that's not the case whatsoever, you can recover, free yourself from the worry and the pain, feed that creativity and watch how things start to change for you. Now, we are going to grab, okay, <laughs> things falling everywhere. So we are going to be grabbing the cabochons here and I'll just explain what I've done. These are just, these are just glass cabochons that I put some Lakta paper on and then I have a message on the back, right? And I felt like it was very important to have handwritten messages. So there's that. And then these just came from, they're heavy. <laughs> these just came from the hobby store and, uh, you know, pre-painted and everything like that. And I just put a message on the back. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the other ones first though. And let's see what other messages we have for you. Ooh, we got a lot of them. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Falling everywhere too. Okay. I gotta get one off the floor. Okay. This already feels like chaos. This already feels like, because every time I, I pull for somebody, the design, if it pops to me, I, I will go ahead and read it. But this is needing focus and clarity, getting pulled in too many different directions. Now, in other cases, this could be a flow of energy. This can be, you know, having a lot of projects going at once, which might pertain to you, but this actually feels like, ugh, like too many directions, a lot of structure. Group one got this design here as well, this one. This, and this one here just feels like, I, I just heard follow the leader with this. It's just kind of like, just do your monotonous thing and don't complain about it. All right, so which one? Do we want to read first? This little guy wants to come out first. So these will create a story. So we have truth. Ugh. Admitting the truth to yourself. Openness. Group one got that as well. Openness. Longing. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how longing and time. Group one got that, like I said. Archangel Raphael, oh, got some common ones here. Archangel Michael. So Raphael's all about healing, Michael's all about protection, okay. Got a lot of Archangels here. Archangel Uriel is all about wisdom and actually helping you. I think Uriel, Uriel is showing up to help you with your self-esteem because there's a part of all of your experiences out there where the ego is taken over and the ego is the thing that's so fragile that if you do get rejected, you know, it's the kind of thing that's like, just give up. Cause <laughs> you know, like it's just not time or whatever. Okay. And then we have Archangel Ariel who is all about the root chakra. That's, that's her gig. Okay. <laughs> Archangel Ariel root chakra manifestation bringing things into your existence. So look at all these archangels. You have a lot of support here. If you choose to work with these archangels, they cannot help you unless you invite them in. I've shown group one. Look, they spin. Isn't that fun? All right. <laughs> so Uriel is all about, like I said, your self-esteem, how you show up in this world, okay? And where's your courage? Where is your strength? And Michael is all about that too. But Archangel Michael is saying, you're gonna be all right. You're protected in this. You can manifest whatever you want when you heal. Now, it's healing the perspective. It's healing the perspective. 
How do I define myself? How do I want to show up? We keep saying that. Here's what's getting in your way. The longing. Oh, I so want this to happen. I so want that person. I so want that job. I so want to be a famous artist. I don't know. (laughs) I so want my music out there. That is the thing that blocks you. That is the thing that's going to hold you up and push it out of your existence. So it's time for truth and openness. Okay. And here, here's a good old amount of support right here. Any of these archangels that you want to work with, but this is the guy that's going to hold you up. Okay. So let's get more of the story here. Boom. (laughs) This bag, can you see how heavy? I bet this has got to be, oh, I don't even know, three, four pounds of these things. So they have to sit on the board while I shuffle them. Otherwise, they'd be all over the place. Okay, you all got a long shuffle here. Okay. (laughs) Okay. And there. And you got a lot of them too. Wow. Okay. Taking half the bag with me too. Okay. Can't ruin the reveal. I mean, come on. All right. (laughs) So there they are. Uh, I feel like I want to turn this one. Pinnacle. Peak. Experience. intuition, heart wisdom, (laughs) heart wisdom goes with Raphael. Oh yes. And the openness, the truth, the truth is the heart wisdom. So here's the thing. If you guys have failed at something, whether it's a a relationship or, you know, I don't know, some, something that you were trying to accomplish and it didn't come about. If you tapped into your heart wisdom, you would realize that wasn't the right thing for you anyway. You didn't want it. Okay. You did not want it. (laughs) So it's time to let that go. Oh yes. The stars, the stars. You know what this makes me feel like? I guess this can talk about that word destiny a little bit. It's just not in the stars. Um, But this also can play into the need to be a star and how that goes with the longing, the longing. I want to go against time. I will pull this closer here in a minute, but you know, this longing to go against timing or even to go against what's right for you because you got in your head that something (laughs) is right for you. You got to wait. Okay. You got to wait and detox. Check this out. I love these. I I love that. I made these. (laughs) They were fun to make. They're fun to play with shallow waters. We're going to get into it. Hang on, hang on, everybody. Oh my gosh, there is a story to be told here. Are you ready? Look, <laughs> you went after completely the wrong thing, whether, you know, whatever it is, whatever your situation is, shallow waters. Shallow waters means someone who's emotionally unavailable or somebody who has no empathy. They don't care about stepping all over you or beating you up or telling you that you're not good at what you do or whatever. You're not good enough to do this, that, or the other because that is the perspective they're working from. It does not, does not equal truth. It does not equal truth. And that's what you're learning right now. That's the deeper lesson that just because someone says it, how many times have I said this? Just because someone says it (laughs) doesn't make it true. All right, listen to your intuition, okay? You know if you tune into your intuition, there's another message here in a second, but if you hang on to your intuition, you know when the timing is right. You know what is good for your pinnacle experience. But look at this. Some of you star seeds out there. Here, let me just pick them up. They move all over the place. That's the one down part, (laughs) downside to this. I guess they would, no, they still move on the board too. I don't know. First time using these, so we'll see. So some of you are longing for the stars, you know, that that star seed energy of, I don't get humans. This place is a crazy place. Get me out of here. Uh, and then Michael kind of comes into that. Archangel Michael definitely comes in and says, you're protected, you're loved, and you're going to get clarity. All right. You're going to figure out how to move forward. However, (laughs) 
However, you don't want to go rushing ahead. This is not going to be good for you. And don't push, do not push. There's a need to go through a little bit of a detox. You know what this is? This is learning how to think for yourself. How to think for yourself again, because you might have, I'm thinking of an example of somebody who's gotten into a nine to five job and you just work so hard, work so hard, work so hard, and you just realize the company does not value you, okay? And no matter how hard you work, they just took more and never gave back. Not even a thank you. And that might have taken a toll on you. Definitely, that's what Uriel comes forward and says. You know, about the self-esteem. It's taking a self uh, a toll on your self-esteem, essentially. So it's time to recover from that. And then you can have a physical detox with Archangel Raphael. Okay. I really do feel, though, this is like a spiritual, emotional detox. And eventually... You will be able to recover. You will be able to manifest with Archangel Ariel. All right. And keep it moving. But next time that you create something, make sure it's coming from the heart. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sending you love. Take care. Hi there, group three. So if you chose the B, let's get into your cards here and see what you need to learn on a deep level from whatever situation you are thinking about right now. So, the cards, oh wow, okay. So gray, learn to scan your body. The number is 29, reduces to 11. So you're going through a lesson of mastery right now. Mm, but you're in a gray area, yeah. And scan your body is telling you to learn how to listen to your body, <laughs> right? So how many times have you come across somebody who's pretty toxic? Okay, and you just feel it in your gut that they're not going to be a very nice friend. They're going to take little digs at you. They're not going to support you. And you ignore it. Or your gut tells you not to go into a certain situation and you ignore it. And then it ends up not being so nice, right? You're in this place of in-between, which a lot of us humans hate being there, right? <laughs> because the ego consciousness is, is very linear. And it says, I want to keep moving. I want to keep doing the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. If I don't have these steps in place, then who am I? What am I here for? You know, we start to feel confused and lost. But if you focus, this card that is seeming, seemingly chaos is actually the hands of the Buddha. Inner peace, wisdom. See how just like a, a slight shift of the card can change the image? But that's really what's there. That's what you're looking at, all right? So you can find your way out of this confusion, this fog. How do you do that? Well, here we are. Amazonite, before I even read the card, Amazonite is all about flow, harmony. Again, this message of peace. I'd be very curious to see if Sandalfin comes out in the Capuchons. <laughs> Right? All right, and this says, loosen your grip. You are thinking too hard on your situation. You're trying too hard to force an outcome that you're being protected from. Oh, come on, how can I be protected from wanting to get married? Or how can I be protected from wanting to get a job when I haven't had a job in months? Sit with that for a second. If you're being protected from a certain relationship, then it's not for you. If you're being protected from a job, then it's not for you. And yes, we can have these moments where we do get concerned about money because citrine is very prosperous um, and does indicate, it can indicate money. Uh, but you're not, <laughs> you're not seeing the good, right? All you have to do, but the good news is, remember this card, it kind of, I remember the first time I saw this card, I was like, it's just, I don't know, it's just chaos. I don't know what it is. And then you see it's Buddha. So, or at least I perceive it as Buddha, okay? So all you need to do, you're so close. You're so close to getting through this. You just need to do a little shifting of your perspective and loosen your grip. Do not overthink it. Do not overplan it. And learn to flow with what is. So there's a message here of appreciation as well. Okay, a message of appreciation where 
okay, if I don't have everything set up in my life the way I think it should look, that's okay. I appreciate where I am. All right. So you have to get into that kind of mindset to unlock your life. Then we have Citrine, bring in the light. You're heading towards really good things. So whatever it is that you're facing right now, I almost feel like it released you or it woke you up, <laughs> right? So maybe you were kind of going along a path, just kind of doing your thing over and over and over again. And this abrupt stop or this abrupt realization, for some of you, I'm not even sure you're really facing a huge thing right now if you chose group three, or maybe you are, hang on. There's a general reading here, but for the portion of you <laughs> who chose this group and you're not really going through a huge thing, you are on a very internal level where it's, again, it's all about discovering your light and bringing that through the heart space and flowing with whatever is changing your perspective and realizing, hey, things aren't nearly as bad as I thought they were. Okay. So as I've been explaining to everybody, I have put together these cabochons. So these are basically, they're just locked to paper, which is prayer paper, uh, or used to be prayer paper, and uh, glued it to these little glass cabochons. And I, I felt like it was very important to have handwriting, so not to have it printed. I contemplated that, printing out labels for the back, but it felt like handwriting was very important. So that's what those are. And then we're gonna be pulling some of these. Now, these are heavy. <laughs> so these are just from the hobby store. And I decided to pick up these pebbles and write, you know, tune in. I tuned into what messages should be there and got those on there. So we're gonna be pulling some of those as well. But first, these guys. I'm gonna use two hands for this. This one's a lighter bag, so I can actually do that. Oof, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. So here are some of the designs. And sometimes, oh, is that right? She doesn't even want to be there. Okay. <laughs> so this is the same paper that is on the reading board here. And if I get a message from the pattern, if something jumps out at me, I will read it. It doesn't happen every time, except in your case. So... This feels like very much find the light. If you see how the light kind of goes through that, that's finding your serenity. That's finding your, mm, almost like your own angelic energy. Like we're humans, but you know, there's angelic energy that could flow through us. So it very much feels like that. And this feels like a message of manage the grid. You know what I'm saying? Like manage the ins and outs of your life and realize that not everything is static. Not everything that is occurring right now is gonna be there forever, okay? So let's bring this forward that way. Just getting this figured out. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel is known as the Archangel of Love, but she also helps you understand self-love, self-discovery, and she helps you reach your fullest potential. Archangel Uriel all about wisdom and your self-esteem to some extent. Uh, your self-esteem as far as letting go of a narrative that maybe you've told yourself or that you that has been sort of uh, put into you. And there's the design in case you're curious. I felt like all of a sudden someone's like, turn it over. <laughs> there it is. But Archangel Uriel helps you get into the space of trusting your own voice, trusting your own authenticity. He also helps you reach your fullest potential, okay? So along with Shamuel, you're being encouraged to give yourself a chance here. Just because there's been a setback doesn't mean that you're down for the count, okay? Archangel Sandalfin, he is all about balancing. I don't know, this is gonna focus, okay. He's all about balancing the spiritual self with the physical self, you know, being grounded, he's in charge of the earth star chakra and also carrying your prayers up to heaven. He's also known as the archangel of music. So if some of you are musicians out there, uh, here you go. You're heading in a good direction here. Okay. You really are. It's just the things that you're, you know, going through right now. It's trying to get you to release some old stuff, some old ways of thinking. Like I said, just kind of tweaking your perspective a little bit 
so that you can make different choices and move forward. Archangel Jophiel, again, all about wisdom, beauty, joy. Understanding your truest nature goes hand in hand with these. Definitely. Absolutely. Look at that. And this is to help you open your crown chakra so that you don't, the whole thing here is not to let your life be dictated by the surface level story. If you get caught in that, you're caught in the ego and that's just going to work against you. Okay. And then we have heart. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> your heart will tell you what to do. So you have a good compass right inside of you. Okay. So there's nothing to fear. Nothing to be worried about. You're getting there. And awareness. Look at that. The awareness of self. The awareness of your own power. And as always, not leaning on outside circumstances to determine how happy you are. Okay. All right. So let's get more of the story here. And these have to sit on. Oh, geez. <laughs> Knocking things around. These actually have to sit on the board because they're that heavy. They're pretty pretty hefty oh there's one that popped out she just popped right out <laughs> okay <laughs> we'll take that I'm gonna get the corners they're just kind of coming out on their own and I keep bringing parts of the bag with me. Maybe I need a different bag. I don't even know. All right. Not yet. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's take these guys away. And let's see which ones we want to read first. This one wants to come out first. Focus. This actually feels like refocus. Okay. So there's that. Turning. You're turning a corner. You're making change. Go with it. Inner voice. <laughs> Look at this. This is like, listen. Oh my gosh. Like, this is like inner voice. Listen to your heart. Do you see that? You can't see that because it's far away. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> Let me get them arranged in my palm so you can see them. There you go. Listen to your inner voice. That leads you to a heart decision so you're not making choices from just purely the mind of course you want to pull things into reality but instincts you have good instincts for something whether that it's basically talent okay so that's how I'm reading this today for you you have good instincts you need to trust them okay so maybe the instincts were telling you things are turning. The tide is turning. It's time for something new. It's time to find a different focus. Frequency. That's what these archangels are teaching you. If you choose to call them in and work with them and do so from a protected space. Okay. But the frequency for you needs to change. And you're, well, actually it says you're turning frequency. Look at this. You're turning your frequency. You're, you're taking in, it's not necessarily a different path. It's more about the approach and how you feel about where you're going. Okay. It's, that's more of the message and love. Now for some of you who are like, oh, I wanted a love centered reading. Mm, I mean, we do have heart. We have love here, but this feels more like listen to your heart. Archangel Samuel is the archangel of love. Okay. So there's that. And there's that. So there's great potential there. If you were looking for uh, like a love message, you still got to listen to your heart though. And you need to have awareness <laughs> and wisdom. All right. Because if you keep going after these partners that are temporary or they don't, you know what I mean? Like they're not good to you. They don't care about you, whatever. You know, that's no, you're, you're going to just keep repeating a lesson. Now, for some of you out there, it's telling you to fall in love with life. Love what you do. So if you feel obligated to do something, if you're like me, do you ever just like get a shot of inspiration? And you're like, yes, I want to do all these things. And you start doing it, you're like, I hate this. 
<laughs> you know, you don't have to have completion on everything. Okay. Some things you can just kind of leave them. It was there for the experience. You wanted to see whether you were going to like it or not. And you did and you can move on. Okay. So by the way, I'm getting pulled back to this. Don't forget that this is a card of prosperity. <laughs> don't forget about that. And then we have spirit guides. So you have a ton of support. You have lots and lots and lots of guides around you, helping you out. And some of you are like, oh yeah, my grandma's my spirit guide. You know, your departed loved ones could definitely be around you and helping you out. But as I've always said and have said for years, remember the people that you knew in the physical, they don't know that much more than they did when they were alive, except for what happens when you die. And to us, that's like the end all be all understanding message, right? So we really lean on them. But you actually have spirit guides that were here to watch over you when you were born in and also guardian angels to help you out as well. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. So focus your prosperity. That's what I wanna say here. Focus on your prosperity, but not in this egocentric kind of way. You're finding a different flow. You're being grounded, okay? Ground your ideas. Yeah, I'm hearing keep the balance, keep the balance. And this will help you stay in that proper frequency to create the thing that you're looking for. So don't be disheartened. Whatever's happened, I can't even tell you, it was a blessing, okay? <laughs> it's a blessing, it's teaching you something, but if you don't do that internal work, you're not gonna bring things into fruition in the way that you might like, all right? So I hope that was helpful. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.